Kellyanne Conway says most of Washington hated James Comey. As White House advisers go, Kellyanne Conway is about as kick-butt as we've seen at 1,600 Pennsylvania in quite some time. This is someone who reportedly broke up a fight at an inaugural ball by punching one of the participants and also confronted a liberal heckler at the airport. She's definitely not business as usual. So, it wasn't any surprise when President Donald Trump's pugnacious adviser went after former FBI Director James Comey during a Monday morning interview on NBC, where she said that most of Washington, detested this man before he was fired. Conway's remarks dealt with Comey's scheduled testimony before Congress this Thursday. She didn't rule out that the president would use executive privilege to block Comey's testimony due to the private nature of their conversations. According to Fox News, the White House later ruled out the use of executive privilege, saying Comey would be allowed to testify. The president will make that final decision but if Mr. Comey does testify we'll be watching with everyone else. Conway said about the issue of executive privilege. I would point out two things, most of Washington, of course many of the Democrats, detested this man until Donald Trump fired him, which Jim Comey said in his own goodbye letter was the right of the president to do. Secondly, Jim Comey, the last time he testified under oath. The FBI had to scurry and correct his testimony almost immediately because what he said was false. He was off by hundreds of thousands in terms of the emails between Huma Abedin and Anthony Weiner, and there were only two classified in there, apparently, and he was off by many, many in terms of the classification. But the fact is, if he testifies, we'll all be watching, but I think people should also look at the Rod Rosenstein memo again to see what the problem was in the department with FBI Director Jim Comey, she continued. Rosenstein clearly points out that the integrity and the morale were down, and he clearly points out that Comey had tried to usurp the power of the Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, and that he did textbook what you're not supposed to do by holding a press availability and announcing why they decided not to prosecute Hillary Clinton. Conway is right, Comey was loathed by the left until Trump fired him. Then, once he was fired, he became a martyr on which their vague hopes for impeachment could be pinned upon. And yet, he was still no more competent than he was when the Democrats loathed him. No matter what Comey says on Thursday, the fact remains the only thing that changed was that Trump fired him. Good luck wallpapering over that one.